Um, so, but we just finished with our Ohio 4-H conference this last Saturday, and I had the opportunity uh, to celebrate with Elizabeth Fannin here as our first uh, inductee into the Ohio 4-H Teen Hall of Fame. Well, congratulations to you. So, uh, Thank you. So you are, of course, a graduate of Jackson High School, a 20, 2021 or 2021, 20, yeah. 2021 graduate, yeah. so just last year and in your freshman year at Ohio State? Yes. What are you studying? I'm studying agricultural communications on a pre-law track. Okay, so going to be moving on and hope, so hoping to maybe do something in like farm law and that type of stuff long term or what? Yeah, are you, so. I want to represent like the agricultural community and, um, you know, a while ago I was told the best way to, you know, get into law school is to focus on something that you really enjoy and so that's what I'm doing. I'm focusing on agriculture. It's something that has been a part of my life for as long as I can remember. <laughs> I say, let's see, last name Fannin. I'm pretty yeah. sure there's a, it's a pretty pretty dominant name when it comes to agriculture yeah. in, the, in the area here. So it's not like you haven't haven't been around the agricultural yeah. Yeah. scene for your, most of your life. Uh, so you took what what did what were your favorite projects when you were in 4-H? Um, I did livestock projects ex- exclusively, and I took a lot. I took hogs, steers, um, some dairy product projects. But my all time favorite was probably lambs because okay. I had the most success with that and. Um, it was kind of a last minute thing the first time I did it. It wasn't something we planned to do and I kind of just went with it and that's what I've done long term now. Well, we're going to say congratulations to you for being inducted into the 4-H Teen Hall of Fame. So tell us what exactly does that mean? I mean, obviously you hear the word Hall of Fame and that means, you know, what are the qualifications to get in? Uh, you know, how is that going to benefit you in the long term? Obviously it's a, it's a great, uh, you know, selling point for yourself. Uh, but what are the, you know, how, tell us a little bit more about that, Aaron. So um, the Teen Hall of Fame actually just started about six or seven years ago, and um, they are they have four nominees each year, and those are through an application and nomination process. And so those teens, it's not just what they've done that year or one thing. It's actually a culmination of everything that they've done uh, throughout their 4-H career. And so they're looking for teens that have just had extraordinary impact. And um, Elizabeth's done a lot of things throughout the year. And she's actually just uh, returned back from National 4-H Congress in November and representing Ohio there. And has been to National 4-H Conference and done a lot of things at the state level at Teen Leadership Council. And so she was just an ideal candidate with all of her, level, all of her involvement, not only at the county level, but also at the regional and state and national level as well. And that's one thing I don't think people people maybe don't understand the importance of a program like 4-H. Tell us, Elizabeth, how has it how has it um, has it changed your life? Well, like we were talking about before, like being able to come here and like talk, um, public speaking, and that kind of stuff. That's like the biggest thing is like leadership. And mm-hmm. It's like I said, it's shown me what I want to do with my life and taken me to Ohio State. I don't know if that's where I would have ended up without (laughs) 4-H. I did a lot of things throughout high school, but 4-H is really where I found my place to be me. So it let me flourish into a leader, and that's, that's why it's so important for everyone. Awesome. So uh, what advice would you give to somebody who's thinking about maybe joining 4-H or, or getting involved in some way, shape, or form? What would your advice be to them? I think the biggest misconception is that like it's just agriculture stuff. Oh, yeah. But it's a lot more than that. It's leadership. It's public speaking. And there's so much beyond just showing an animal at the fair. So my biggest piece of advice would be don't restrict yourself to that and find your thing through 4-H. And I think that's the best way to be successful in 4-H. Yeah, I know for me it was it was I did four years of model rockets because I love building models. Yeah. It was a hobby that I had so I started doing it so I did model rockets I did models uh, you know just g- general models of airplanes and that type of stuff and then also fishing and first aid and uh, all kinds of cool stuff like that so it's along the side of things if you don't have animals or you're not I lived in town so we weren't able to have animals but uh, it's not just about like you said it's not just about agriculture and so again Aaron one last time we're quick we're real quick to wrap up best way for someone to get in touch with either you or to get involved if they want to be a part of 4-H? Uh, so they can actually, probably the easiest way, just go to our main website, jackson.osu.edu, and that will um, take you to all of those links that I talked about before and take you those in links for enrollment. Um, or they can also give us a call at the Extension Office at 2-8-7-4-0-2-8-6-5-0-4-4. And again, like Elizabeth said, you know, just there's something for everyone in 4-H. So we would just encourage you to come try it out, give it something, and there's just really uh, so many different projects and so many things that you can get involved in to really build those leadership and life skills. The projects are just kind of the vehicle yeah, for which absolutely. you're learning those responsibilities <laughs> and life skills. Absolutely. Well, Elizabeth, thanks again for stopping in again this morning, and congratulations to you. Again, Elizabeth Fannin, the first inductee from Jackson County into the 4-H Teen Hall of Fame. Best luck to you uh, as you continue your education at Ohio State. And folks, let's get involved and continue to support 4-H and local programs in and around Jackson County. Lots more coming up on Mix 96.